Hello there. <laughs> Famous golfer and... Oh, not me. I got anything, the battery's already gone on this. But you proved to them uh, that uh, through teamwork and uh, pride and enthusiasm and uh, and believing in yourselves that uh, winners, uh, underdogs, can be winners. And I like to compare uh, what you did and uh, the Minnesota Twins to our community. As you all know, a small rural community like ours is an underdog in uh, Minnesota's economic structure. But we're using the same tools that you did, uh, teamwork, pride and dedication and enthusiasm and, and uh, believing in ourselves and uh, we think we're going to be winners also. And uh, I believe that uh, the Minnesota Twins and the city of Boston are going to be uh, around in the future of Minnesota for a long, long time. Uh, I know that you gentlemen have uh, visited many communities, both large and small, uh, in the past week or so, and, uh, but I hope that you find our community one of your most enjoyable visits. I know for us it is going to be one of the highlights of 1988. Now, we at this time would like to, uh, so that you might remember us better, uh, present you with a couple of mementos uh, from our community. As part of this day, I had the privilege of uh, proclaiming it Minnesota Twins Day in Boston. <coughs> And I have proclamations here and for all four of you. I like to give out a proclamation from the city of Boston. And it says this, uh, whereas the Minnesota Twins are the 1987 world champions of baseball, and whereas the Minnesota Twins achieve this status through teamwork, enthusiasm, dedication, and believing in themselves, and whereas their efforts through these efforts, they overcame tremendous odds doing what no one thought possible at the start of last year's season. And whereas, by doing so, they gave our community and the entire state one more reason to be proud of their Minnesotans. Now, therefore, I, Arvid Clements, and Mayor Foston, do hereby proclaim Thursday, January 21st, 1988, Minnesota Twins Day in this community. And I urge all residents of the area to join in and uh, recognizing this outstanding achievement by our Twins. Uh, also, as you all know, just about everybody in Minnesota has a Minnesota cap, a Minnesota jacket, a Minnesota shirt, or a pennant. So we would like to give you people a official 1988 Boston t-shirt to take back with you. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe someday we'll see you wearing that on television during spring training or something. <laughs> Uh, you make us very proud. Uh, this is a t-shirt. Last reunion this summer. And it says, All School Reunion, Boston, Minnesota. July 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you gentlemen would come forward now, uh, I'd like to uh, make these presentations to you. Did we get him? Did we get him? 
All right. <laughs> to be a sponsor of next year's Twins broadcast on North Autograph your lens. Do I get to drive a lens cap on, did you say? No. <laughs> did it what? Huh? Autograph tape. I hate those things because I'm normally on the other end. Right? Yeah. In fact, I've got yes. Thank you. Are you going to see that? Come on. Spent a thousand dollars in bubble gum to get these. So, okay. All you do is call me, I'll give you one. All right, you do that. Just <laughs> save you a thousand dollars. He just thank you. Dollars. Don't worry. <laughs> right there. Have a good season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not too bad. I've heard you over the years. For yeah. How many years have you been broadcasting? I've uh, probably heard them all. Then, I well, I've heard all of them. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'll be in there a minute. Well, what are your predictions on the uh, U.S. Open this year? Watson has one of the most He's going to win it this year. Well, what about your own chance to qualify? Qualifying? Slim to none. Slim to none. Slim to none. <laughs> Where will they be qualifying this year? The qualifying will be in Chicago, Houston, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Louisiana sounds in. like fun. It is. It is. <laughs> Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras. Mardi Gras. <laughs> Shortstop, too. Shortstop and a catcher. There he is, a catcher. Do I live? Yeah, the I'm wearing season. my glove just on my, or my jacket just on my right arm. That's, um, is this how they do it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, um, uh, Chicano? See, don't they walk around with their jacket just on one arm like that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They were there. Come out of the way. Huh? Oh boy, I wish I had one. It's going to be fun to have this. Oh yeah. But just having a camera like this is really interesting. Yeah. You can play it back right away. You, know? you can. This has been quite a night.